Because you're a weird group. I was doing my show a couple years ago. They had this thing called Deaf Awareness Day. And on that day, every show was interpreted for the deaf, right? So I'm doing my show just like this. I'm eating fire. I'm uh, juggling. I'm doing card tricks. A woman is keeping up because I talk very fast. And sometimes I lose my voice like this. And she was right there, just signing, signing, signing. I get to that line. God, I'm feeling very manly. My nipples are erect with excitement. I swear to God, she goes like this. <laughs> So I said it a hundred more times. <laughs> and then I did shows for cows and she changed it. <laughs> With Jeremy. There you go, love. Thank you very much. Because, Jeremy, I am required by law to give you some high-tech OSHA-approved safety gear. <laughs> But until I find some, I'll just use this crappy little helmet I found last night next to the tiny charred body of a small flying squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes a bit like moose. <laughs> I think mom wants a picture. Let's look at mom. Hang on, ma'am. I got a better one. I got a better one. I'm available for kids shows. <laughs> Jeremy, repeat after me. I really loud because my voice is gone. Even with the microphone, they probably can hear you better. So here we go. Start again. I, I. state your name. State your name. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that, didn't you? <laughs> I, Jeremy. I, Jeremy. I promise, I promise. To, hold to hold this ball, this ball. forever. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? No. <laughs> all right, for like five minutes. All right, Jeremy, I was kidding. You got it for five minutes? Yeah, he's a good kid. All right, be right back, Jeremy. I'm going to go into the audience. See how long this. Hi. How's it going? I was keeping the family. What's your name, sir? Chris. Come on over here, Chris, if you don't mind helping me out. Uh, take off the sticker of this apple. Stand right here. Oh, thank you. Well, you do that for me. Folks, give Chris a nice round of applause. Come on down. Okay, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back up here. You stay right there. Chris, Chris, say hi to Jeremy. Jeremy, say hi, Chris. Don't wave. It's a bowling ball. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to light the torch. After I do that, Jeremy, you place the bowling ball into my hand. Alright? That's right. you're here. Chris, you're here for style. You will then toss the apple. Notice, Chris, I said toss. This is not a top. <laughs> Want a step essay? <laughs> Need to remind you you're standing on kindling, essentially. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Chris, so to toss, I will then juggle a blazing torch, a 10 pound bowling ball, a four ounce apple, while simultaneously and at the same time, I will eat the apple, not the torch, not the bowling ball. If this trick works, cool. <laughs> because it didn't in the simulator. <laughs> In the simulator, I killed the kid. <laughs> the hell are you looking at? <laughs> Folks, this will be the finale of my show. At the end, I'll be in the back with my basket. I'll leave another basket right down front. If you enjoyed my show, and if you can afford to, please stop by either baskets and drop a little selfie in of whatever you thought my show was worth. I'm going to say that last part again because it's very, very important. Whatever you thought this show was worth, well, hey, that's what this show is worth. I'm a very lucky guy. I get to do what I love, but if I don't do my job well, I don't do so well. So if I gave you guys two or three dollars worth of laughter, you drop in two or three dollars. If I gave you five dollars worth of laughter, you're like, that guy was funny, man. <laughs> drop in a five spot. If you can afford more than that, and some people do, they're big spenders, they're like, that guy really affected me. I'm going to remember that guy's comedy for the rest of my life. I'm going to give him, you know, more than five or ten. Uh, go right ahead and do that if that's your uh, if that's the way you want to go. If the show's only worth a dollar, just drop in a dollar. And finally, folks, and this is the only serious part of the last 45 minutes, if you honestly can't afford it, and I mean that, 
honestly can't afford it, and that's not most of you. But if that's the case, don't feel bad. All right, don't sneak out. Watch the whole show. Cheer and applaud at the end. Tell your friend you saw Brune and he was hilarious. Go to my website. Follow me on Facebook. But mostly come by and shake my hand when the show is over. If you can't afford to give me a dollar, shake my hand and thank me for the comedy. That may not mean, uh, mean, seem like it means that much, but it really does. I'm very lucky to be able to do this, and it's nice to know people that really appreciate it. So I thank you all very much. Uh, after the show, go on over to the sign over there near the pretzel cart and get on the Mooney and Brune mailing list. Mooney and I are going to do a show in Turlock, California at Cal State Stanislaus. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's coming up uh, the end of October. Go to MooneyandBrew.com. I think tickets will be for sale soon, but they're not quite for sale yet. Uh, uh, my friend Leon will be up on stage selling the very rare Brune t-shirt. <laughs> Buy this t-shirt. Hang it somewhere tonight where you're trying to sleep, and I guarantee you will not get to sleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the creepy face. Also, Mooney and Brune DVDs are available as well. And the Mooney and Brune show will be here at 5 o'clock in about 15, 20 minutes when this show ends. You've been a great audience. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Chris and Jeremy. Okay, sorry. Back up a little bit, Jeremy. i got to light the torch here. I don't want you to get... Actually, let me move the sword out of the way. Real sword. Don't want you slipping. All right. All right, you ready, Jeremy? Face me. I will toss the torch. You will then make him juggle. <laughs> <laughs> Show that face to them. This is the look I got. <laughs> you knew I was kidding, right, Jeremy? That was a joke. I am not going to throw a torch at another kid, all right? <laughs> I am not going to throw a torch at another kid. I am not going to throw a torch at another kid. That kid had it coming, you know what I mean, Jeremy? <laughs> he would not stop smiling at me. <laughs> you ever dance with the devil in the pale blue eyes? <laughs> this kid's good, thank you. All right, Jeremy, put the bowling ball right there in my hand. Lose the hat, bow dramatically, return back to your seat. Give it up for Jeremy. <laughs> Oh! I'm fine. I was being all snazzy and then I saw the hat and I wanted to kick it over. I'm fine. Uh, Chris, hang on. Ladies, girls, sweethearts, don't crawl, walk in front of this gentleman here, all right? Chris, this is the part of the show where you toss the apple, I then begin juggling. You ready? <coughs> What's that? You ready? Yeah, when I'm ready, I'll say a sentence similar to, now's the part of the show where you toss the apple. <laughs> <laughs> Is he like this at home, Jody? <laughs> Honey, I think your laundry's done. What? Did you want me to take the laundry out? Yes! <laughs> Alright, no, you're right. I, you thought I was going to go like, ready, set, go. We, we love the Brune Show. We, we love the Brune Show. Good, my children. <laughs> Everyone into the compound for Kool-Aid. <laughs> Folks, I know a lot of you are here to see the next show, and I'm in that one too, but you did just sit here and watch me do my show, so I hope you can give a little something at the end. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, Chris, on the word fruit. Okay. Eyes on three. Pay attention. Sometimes I drop. You're fine. There. <laughs> one, two, three. Chuck that. <laughs> All right, he did it. Good enough. Keep it going, people. Keep it going. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.